So how many weeks is this now, what's passed? About six weeks maybe? Yeah. Five weeks no. since, since we planted. And phoenixes are doing really well. And I don't know if that's because we planted it in plastic, but that one's okay, that's card and that's done okay. Strawberries are uh, hit and miss. Kira's. They I don't know be, what's happened. They, <laughs> they were doing well, weren't the they? Only, Let's, only have one Let's have a look. The other side. Let's have a look. That's doing well when it wasn't at the beginning. Chives are fine. Uh, what's that one? Chive. Chives are fine. Coriander seems to be fine in that one, but coriander's died in that one. All the dills died. Peppers and tomatoes. You haven't been managed to grow any of them, have you? Gabriel, how's yours been? Good. So peas are looking good. Uh, what's that? That is that peas, parsley. parsley. That's not bad. Chives are not bad. We've got two cucumbers that popped up about two weeks ago, was it? Peppers and tomatoes. Peppers and tomatoes. I mean, you can see a bit of a no, I mean don't. There. Possibly. But possibly. But the peppers and tomatoes seem to have uh, not done well at all. And then what's this? Dill's looking nice. What's this? Is this dill? Wait, this is all dill, yeah. That's but dill. I was thinking so because... Dill. Wait, is well, this dill? Yeah, I think it is, yeah. Yeah, anyway. Alright. So what we're going to do today is going to put them in bigger pots, aren't we? And yep. sort out the dead ones. So we're going to do that now. So we've got this greenhouse, what we're going to build today. Get everything out, Gabriel. Actually, look at the instructions first. I like that. In case we get everything mixed up and then. Look pretty easy. You gonna help Phoenix? Yeah? Phoenix. Hiya. Hiya. Phoenix thinks it's his little house. Car park. <laughs> to park his car. It's, it's quite good. <laughs> Is it for plants? Shows how you go in then. <laughs> Very good. Right, Kieran Gable are just planting some lavender. Because we we're going to have some flowers as well, aren't we? So we're using a like, little milk oh. carton like that. Oh. Put that in after Gable. It matter. No, it's not matter. So have you read the instructions? <sighs> Do they have to be so far away from each other or? Let's uh, have a look. <laughs> So, no, not really. So just how many? Pick sprinkle them sprinkle. all over. Not sprinkle them. Pick them up and sprinkle over like salt. All along. That's it. 
So, it is now nearly the end of April. Phoenix, are you going to come and show us the plants? Get your watering spray. Gabriel, do you want to show us what we've got still growing? Phoenix is spraying. What are you spraying, mate? Are you going to spray the salad? So, what happened to the strawberries, Gabe? Uh, they were too dry because so, of the heat. That's yeah, wild. this this was the pot with strawberries in, wasn't it's it? Yeah. Yes, I know. So we decided to just chuck them away because they weren't growing, and we put some salad seeds in the other day. Super yep. quick salad that takes three weeks, and they've already sprouted. Look at that, Phoenix. Do you want to spray the salad? Um, Wait, there's a pink. It looks like pink that one. Do. Spray the salad. That's it. Working. And then, what have we got up here? Uh, that coriander. That is, I think it's coriander. Yeah. We've got two pots still. of chives oh, which chives. are coming on. They're taking a while, aren't they? Yeah. But we're hoping that they're going to shoot up at some point. A bit of coriander in that one, which that's that's gone a bit more bushier yeah. these past couple of days hasn't it we've got jeffrey the christmas yeah we've got tree. a christmas tree from when we He's when it was christmas <laughs> jeffrey yeah well show us the peas then we've got a nice big pot of peas good boy phoenix go on spray them we've already got some peas growing on them look there's a big one, one right there. here where Gabe? Over here. There. Here. In a minute. And we've got this big pot here, which is what Gabe? Broccoli. Broccoli, which is so bushy. That's gone up. That's done really well. It's still a bit wet. Well done, Phoenix. We've got some more coriander Then these have really popped up, haven't they? We've got big bushy coriander. This one's massive. No, this one's coriander and this one is parsley. 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 Can you say parsley? parsley and you're giving it some spray aren't you and then here this is the this is the sad tray yeah <laughs> we've got some chives but they're not the best are they but they're still green and they're still growing so we're going to leave them a uh, little hope for the cucumber yeah we're holding uh, on for a cucumber that one died uh, and then this one is still perky so we're hoping that that is going to yeah, well. grow maybe. I was we'll so see. sad when they died. Yeah. Something bit it though. Something bit this yeah, one. Yeah, something has been munching on it. Let's pass okay. you that down there. That's Jeffrey the Christmas tree. Definitely think he needs some water. Okay. Broccoli. Yeah. Broccoli is probably the best one. Yeah. Careful, Phoenix. You want that one down? Yeah. I've got more balls. What this one? Yeah. <laughs> Why does he have to have some water? Not you, the plant. Why does he have to have some water? What are you helping him to do? Phoenix, what are you helping him to do? Helping him to gr grow. Yeah? So it is now July and we're going to show you what we ended up managing to grow since February. So I'm going to show you what we managed to keep alive basically because uh, it was quite hard work keeping these plants alive. They've not all survived. Um, we've took them out of the greenhouse now because it was getting just, we had a couple of weeks of really hot weather um, and they just weren't getting enough air like even if we opened up the greenhouse it was just too hot in there so we've taken them out and we've put them on a bench made like a bit of a feature of all the plants that we managed to grow so we've put them on this bench here haven't we so what have we managed to grow so we've got three pots of chives we've got who's this yeah Jeffrey the Christmas tree. The broccoli, obviously we won't be able to see how that's done until about September when we dig it up. That one, I think that one's died by the looks of it. We've been trying to pull the leaves off if they've died. This one was the salad. Um, 
which we should have picked ages ago but we've just left it and now it's flowering so I don't think that's edible to be honest anymore but it's got some flowers on hasn't it and then we've got a big big bush of coriander which we need to trim these flowers so that the coriander grows better but we've tasted the coriander and it's really tasty it's me smell okay mmm the coriander was lovely and curry it was really flavorful you could tell it was homegrown and then for some reason this is just oh. randomly started growing so this is mint and somebody must have accidentally put the seeds in yeah to the coriander pot because uh, this was meant to be just coriander can you smell them phoenix can you smell them yeah is that nice So in hindsight, I think we should have started planting our herbs and vegetables and things later on in the year. I think we did it a bit too early and I think that ruined the start of their like growing process. I think it was too, I think we put too much water on them, definitely. Gabriel was watering them twice a day at some point. At one point sorry and yeah they were just getting soaky and then we'd have to dry them out and it was just up and down up and down so i think that killed most of them and yeah um, we managed to grow a lot more than we did last year and the year before anyway so we're getting better <laughs> and it's been really good for phoenix because kira and gabriel have grown plants and herbs and things for years before because obviously they're older but phoenix has really enjoyed it and it's been the beginning of his journey in learning about things like that but yeah I really wanted him to do something like that something to do with growing plants and knowing where his food comes from so it's been a really good experience for him there he is it's nice to be hands-on and do an activity alongside learning with books and we can do all different things with what we've done we can write about it we can learn about the plants, um, the growth of them, about the planet, incorporate that in. We can do some art with it. We can do some drawings with different mediums of the plants we've grown and things like that. Literally, you could do anything on it. So we're going to be looking into that. So yeah, if you've stuck around throughout this video, then thank you because I think it's going to be a pretty long one. But if you've stuck around, then thank you. If you've recently subscribed, or you have in the past then thank you so much i've just reached 200 subscribers which is absolutely brilliant so if you liked it give me a thumbs up leave me a comment and i will see you again so thanks for watching